Alright guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a quicker video, I hope. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to make this very quick uh, Valorant scoreboard UI. Right here as you see. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let's begin by creating the basic design here, okay? And all we are going to do is go for a pencil. Oops. Let's go for stroke. We start here and we're going to work our way up just right about here and then we're going to curve like so actually right here like that and we're gonna go across boom and all the way to here so here is our basic shape now you can see some parts have a slight opacity um, but I don't think I'm going to go for that we just don't need to right uh, so let's go for this thing down here. Now there is a very slight curve. It's like right here, you know, just like that. There we go. Uh, it's all good. Let's back up. Okay, what else? And here, finally, we have what is this? Is like a um, very odd shape. Looks really weird. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna go for a right angle. I'm not gonna do all that extra stuff. Let's go for a basic, basic right angle, okay? So let's take a look at what we have. We have this. I'm going to control J, copy, control T. I'm gonna go flip these two across like so. Now you can see we can match these up. Here is our basic decorative um, design right here. Design right over here. Just like so. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go group. And call this like design. And then pencil. We're going to create this little, I don't know, leaf. Like a weird leaf shaped. Uh, timer right here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a quarter that uh, so I can copy get all these proportions uh, accurately. A flip horizontal and now we have this very simple shape like so. I'm gonna call this our timer get all this stuff Okay, next we have our big shape here. I'm um, gonna go for, let's start right here. Okay, I go up, round, oops, round and straight across, straight across. Um, actually, I'm gonna go for a quarter again. So I'm gonna go down, back here. Okay, I'm gonna go copy, flip, just like that, control J, and we're gonna go flip vertical. And now we have our actual uh, scoreboard shape, like so. Right, we have our assets, and I think lastly, I will, I'm gonna make this thing. Um, that's just going to be a shape like this. And you will see why. Let me go change the color. Now right here, and then let me go this thing. Let's go clip. Well, actually, you have to merge all this stuff and clip. Get this right. And okay, looks good. We're going to fix all the colors later. Right now we are uh, just making our assets. All right, so the rest of the work we're going to do inside of Studio. So uh, let's export all of our stuff. Um, my design will be one export. So right click and quick export here. And then our timer, of course, we're just going to uh, go export like that. And then here is interesting because we're going to export well 
well, you want to hide this uh, shape. Let me go export the whole thing. So scoreboard, let's call this, I don't know, frame. <laughs> and then this thing, we're going to make this white. We're gonna um, rasterize. So right click rasterize, control click on the shape. And then a right click inverse and backspace. Now we have a cutout. If we drag this out like this, right click, export, scoreboard, underscore, underscore, um, I'm going to say, I don't know, like accent, I guess. And I think we are good to go. So we're going to hop right into studio and I will see you guys there. I have spent hundreds of hours making these videos and also designing products for you guys. If you are a creator who is serious about their dreams and goals in creating game projects, or if you are a creative and a designer as well, who is looking to make a career out of designing, then you will appreciate these design resources I have created. If you're building an anime inspired game, well, we have interface kits just for that. If you want a free sample, you can get the preview bundle completely for free. So if you are serious, then check it out with the link below or gfxcomment.com. If you are not serious, these are not for you and you can ignore this message. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right guys, here we are. Uh, I'm in the same file that we made the uh, toolbar because it's, uh, it's Valorant for both, so. Uh, yeah, we're gonna start. I will use my, oops, my plugin right here. Uh, you don't have to use a plugin, all right? Um, sometimes I'll get a comment saying, you're using a tool I don't have. Well, it, well, you don't need it. Of course it helps, but if you watch my video on how to scale UI and, and how to actually make UI, you don't need a plugin. Anyways, let's go import our stuff. Okay, here we are. Uh, we're gonna begin with a screen. GUI, let's call this our scoreboard. Let's go for a frame. Let's go for a canvas. Anchor, parent. Background off and scale. And then let me try to think. So I think the size for the scoreboard is pretty, well, it's static, right? So we can set a fixed size, I believe. So 11. 34 by 122 like so Okay, and then change the color so uh, and also the transparency We uh, just need to have this slightly visible so we can see uh, Where we are working on and so okay. Basically, let's go ahead add image label anchor uh, fit background off. Let's grab our design copy and then uh, Let's call this design and then let's go paste and Yeah, looks pretty good and scoreboard <laughs> Let's go add image. I'm gonna go for our timer right here copy Let's go paste the size is gonna be um, 118 by 40, 45, so bingo, so scale, bring this like right here, you know, and now I suppose we can make a frame, uh, we're gonna call this our, I don't know, list, you know, fit, anchor, change the color, just so it is different, and then let's go add, should we say image, right? We go for scoreboard frame 467, 467 by 39, uh, scoreboard frame, okay, paste, just gonna anchor, so we have this, let's call this our frame, for example, and actually, uh, eh, it's fine, yeah, I'm gonna grab a, like a green color, this, you know, kind of 
See you. Uh, it's fine. Uh, change the color right here. And inside of frame, we're going to add our accent. Like so. Accent and paste anchor. This is going to be 87 by 39. 87, 39. Background off, scale. I'm going to add a list layout inside of a uh, frame. I'm going to go for horizontal, right? So it fits right there. And then we can lower the image transparency to, uh, to like 0.5. As you can see. Now, inside of list, I'm going to go for list layout. And then I think I'm going to go for... I think, like, I think, like, center, right, maybe, um, no, like, we gotta go for some padding, let's get the padding, padding top, I'm gonna go for point, points one, all right, that's pretty good, <laughs> and let's lower the transparency of our accent, as well, yeah, I suppose, I suppose we could have made these two like not overlapping, but I guess it's fine. Um, let's go copy uh, UI list, fill direction horizontal. Oops. And we're gonna go like points one, point five. Nope. Point zero five. We're actually, let's go for flex space around, flex space between, like that. I'm going to change the color of this thing to red. Actually, can we flip this thing? I don't know if you can. So let me go ahead and grab that real quick. Okay, so here it is. Very simple. Same size. I'm just going to paste. And of course, change the alignment to left. And now if we take off our background stuff. Uh, right here you guys can see we have quite a nice looking uh, scoreboard UI uh, we could obviously let's go ahead and modify the uh, transparency like this we can add some sex right and uh, let's go for bold text scaled Text color. That's no bold actually. Uh, let's go for weight semi. Now, of course, if you want to add the um, like icons, here is how you can achieve this. Um, let's go for a frame in here. Fit anchor background off of scale. I'm going to take this off for now and paste it inside a frame. Pause the accent. Paste accent in here, right, for example. And basically, here, we're going to add a frame and make this like smaller. Okay. And this will house your, uh, your actual icons. So let's call this like player icons, for example. And you can basically add, add your icons here, and then you can make like a container right for these icons. So we'll fit up to like about here or so. And then you can paste your icon here, go for a list layouts, and then you go for like horizontal, right? You can have some padding. Four, five, five icons. You go for like uh, space between, just like so. You can add some padding, and or you could you know, resize this thing. Okay, and yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna take this off, but uh, yeah, that is our scoreboard. Like I said, this is a quick video. I uh, hope you learn something uh, let's go fix the anchor point y zero and then position y points one point zero five 
Now, as you guys can see, we have a Valorant uh, scoreboard and also abilities toolbar. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to check out our store. We have a Christmas sale, so you can get 25% off storewide using the code Xmas24. So go ahead and check it out. Here, as you can see, I have made some uh, changes to the website. If you ask me, it looks beautiful. If we scroll, Roblox design assets for creators like you. Creating game projects have never been easier. Check out all this stuff. Uh, link is down below and also on the screen. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like down below and I will see you guys next time. Peace.